Now I want you to just get a hold of this for a second. This journey to the cross here, folks, this cross that we celebrate, this Jesus, what took place on the cross began before the world began. If you take John chapter 1 and verse 1, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So who was going to go to the cross? God was. Every time you think about Jesus, you're looking into the heart of God. And the journey to the cross was begun before the world began. And in fact, John tells us in that same passage, he calls the word who is Jesus light. And he says this light will shine in darkness. That's you and me. Someone right now who is living in sin, you don't know Christ, you're looking for meaning, you can become part of the purpose of God for your life and the purpose of God for your life is that the light will shine and illuminate, will open the way and make known for you all that's necessary, give to you the abundant life. So the journey to the cross was begun long before the world began. Way back then in the beginning, and you and I have tried to define when the beginning is. You'll never get there because God always is. It was not only begun before the world began, but it was illustrated in the sacrifice of Isaac. And you'll remember in Genesis chapter 22, that great passage in, in the book of Genesis where, where Abraham took his only son. I love the story of Abraham and Isaac, don't you? Everything about it was impossible. Would you like me to go into details? By the way, how many of you have been watching that series on the History Channel called The Bible? You need to do it. By the way, you need to do it. It's outstanding. I recommend it. Credible picture representation of what's going on and what the Bible's all about. It's fantastic. My wife and I are watching it. Well, I love the the depiction of Abraham and Isaac, you know. And you know, it was all impossible because Abraham was an old man and his wife was an old lady and they were beyond childbearing age and yet God did a miracle. The cross, by the way, is a miracle. The journey to the cross is about a miracle. It's about the miracle of God doing what only God can do. That's the journey to the cross. And it was illustrated for us in the life of Abraham and Isaac. Because here's God, God gives to Abraham a son. And then get this, turns to Abraham in Genesis 22 and says, Abraham, I want you to take your son and go and sacrifice him. Can I put that in modern day terminology? March him up the hill there and execute him. Now folks, that's not nice. In fact, we find that to be pretty horrendous. That is awful. You just think of a little baby. You think of your teenage son or daughter. What would you do if God came and said to you, I want you to kill this person that you love so much? And we know that wonderful story how Abraham went up. By the way, on that same mountain where the golden dome is, that's where it took place. That's part of the journey. That's the spot. I'm just saying this as an aside now. I'm not getting into all details. Folks, Jerusalem and Israel, very important. <laughs> Maybe that's why I go there every year. Very, very important. And Abraham took Isaac up Mount Moriah, tied him up. Even Isaac said, now, Dad, where's the sacrifice? And what did Abraham say? He said, the Lord will provide. You know what that question is? It's me coming before God in my sinfulness and saying, Lord, help me. I'm lost. 
help me, I'm a sinner. Help me, I'm searching. Help me, I don't know. Help me, I cannot be reconciled to you. Help me, I don't know what to do with my life. And the Bible says the Lord will provide. That's the journey. And you'll remember just before he executed his son, God provided an alternative. He provided the ram that was caught in the thicket for the sacrifice and blood was shed. So the journey, yep, begun before the world began, illustrated through the sacrifice of Isaac, but then God used the prophets to speak about it. You know, and when I got onto the prophets, I thought, wow, we got a lot of prophesying to do. The Bible's full of the prophets, like Amos and Isaiah. If you take, for example, Isaiah 55 and verse 6, Isaiah says this. He says, seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. So what the prophets were saying is, listen, we know that your system in the old covenant has God in a box. We know that you cannot go into the holy of holies. We know that as of this moment, you can only get to God through a priest. But I want you to know that this journey that God has determined points to the cross and through the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. God is going to come right there where you're at. And you can trust him. Invite him into your heart and into your life.